I've been asked why this channel called Punk of Nice. There's truth for JW's. Excellent channel. Love it to bits. One of my subscriptions. I would advise you subscribe to that channel. Ask me why Punk of Nice. Quite easy, really. <clears throat> After elders' meetings, especially heavy ones, I used to go home and have a glass of whiskey with a chunk of ice in it. Always like punk music. Always love punk music. I remember one brother once telling me, oh, I, I listen to that because it, it's lively, it's lively music. What he meant was I like punk rock, but he was too much of a coward to admit it. So <laughs> that just, you know, goes to show the mind control and people are afraid, afraid to be themselves. So why punk of nice? Well, chunk of ice. I like punk. And a really good band called <clears throat> the Rich Kids did a cover version of a song by the Small Faces called Here Come the Nice. So nice, chunk of ice, punk, punk of ice, punk of nice. That's how it came to be. So mote it be. Mote it be. Well, I'm not stepped for the scapee. Hi there. But I'm actually in the car. I'm not driving at the moment because otherwise I'd be flailing around all over the place. I was just thinking years ago because I mean I like music. I'm a musician. I like playing music. Years ago, I was counselled by an elder. This was, I mean, I wasn't a servant even in those days. I've just done a bit of pioneering every now and again. And I wasn't too bothered about privileges trademark in the congregation. I was just living my life, I guess. Probably because I was born into the truth trademark. I, I, I probably in the heart of hearts knew it was a lot, but oh crap. But just lived with it, really, I suppose. So anyway, this elder comes around the house to counsel me and another brother, because we were playing in a band together. And he comes to counsel us about how worldly it is. I mean, we were writing our own songs. There wasn't anything uh, in the lyrics that, that were questionable. They were just songs, really. And he came round to counsel us. So we said to him, well, what about people like Hank Marvin? Who, who are allegedly elders, and they're still pursuing a, a career. And I even saw Hank Marvin on a Cliff Richard birthday special. He didn't have an answer, of course, but basically, at the end of the day, what happened was uh, that was sidestepped, that we were kind of looked down upon. We were judged by the elders for being worldly and not being bona fide. Christians, <laughs> Christians. I can call Jehovah's Witnesses Christians or anything but Christian. Anyway, sorry, I ranting on. Anyway, a few months later, this brother had come round to tell us how bad we were and how evil we are and how Jehovah's trademark is going to murder us soon for playing music. Well, what happened to him? He clears off with another bird. A bird who's not in the organisation trademark, who's not in the truth trademark, he leaves his wife and kids and clears off. And he gets disavowed. And he'd done all sorts. He'd been one of these Gilead Bethel boys. Um, and he was like the city overseer. And, you know, I just thought, isn't it great? Jehovah really does know who to choose to put in positions of authority over his household belongings, trademark. Just goes to show it's a lot of old conkers, really, doesn't it? It's just men. It's men. It's all cobblers. A bunch of fools. Just ignore them.